Hey guys, I hope you can hear me over my music in the background, but um, I'm going to go over my lip products for you. The first one is CarMax, and I have used this since I was, like, middle school. It really works. Um, I use this when I have the worst chapped lips in the whole wide world, and it works like a charm, guys. Not even joking. Okay, and then... Next, I'll show you Lush Bubblegum uh, Lip Scrub. Looks like this. It works. It works okay. Um, I will never purchase this again because it's an insane price. It's ten dollars for this baby, or like nine, or something like that. And but I love the smell. I love the taste. I just really want to try it. So. I tried it and I love it, but it's expensive, so I don't necessarily recommend it, but I want to deter you from getting it because it tastes good, it does its job, and um, it smells good. And then next they have two Target lip balms, which is very similar to Carmex, just cheaper because it's Target brand. And I use this as like my backup. If I can't, if I can't find my Carmax and I use, I go straight to this because it it works the same. And then I have three Bath and Body Works, but I have Cotton Candy. These are lip glosses, by the way. They're very sparkly. Cotton Candy, Cherry, and Lemon. And they smell like Cotton Candy, Cherry, and Lemon. So that's always exciting. Um, then I have the Sugar uh, Tinted Lip Balm. This is in the color Rose. And it looks like that. The swatch underneath that line right there. It's very pretty. Mm, I keep it's so soft, I keep breaking it. But yeah, I love this product. I, When I run out, I probably will purchase the full size because I love it that much. But I'm not going and saying you guys should all purchase the full size. I definitely think you should try it first. Um, and then I have the regular version. Packaging, if I didn't show you, looks like that type thing. Then I have a Nivea chapstick. I use this like when I have mild chapped lips, so like a little bit of dryness, I'll use this and I'll put my lipstick over it. Okay, and then I have the lip color by Elf. You get a bunch of product. This was only $3, I believe. Maybe two. And it looks like that line right there. I wear it under most of my lipsticks because if I have a lipstick that's very pigmented but it comes off uneven, then you won't be able to really tell because I'll have that underlying color. I have an e.l.f. lip gloss and another e.l.f. lip gloss. And these are tinted, but they I don't think they really show up on your lips as tinted, so I'm not going to swatch them, but... They're the e.l.f. Hyper Shine Gloss, and I do use these a lot. One is a corally color, the bottom one, and the top one is like a light pink color. Then I have this berry lip balm from Ulta, which I don't know when I got this. No pigmentation. So it's just a lip balm. It smells very good. It smells like cranberries. <laughs> and then my Burt's Bees. All of my friends love this color on me. I personally think it's too light, but I do love Burt's Bees, so I'm going to use this thing all the way up, regardless of if it looks good on me or not. <laughs> so that's, oh, and then I have a soft lips, which I highly recommend this. Um, I know for sure they sell them at Walmart, but I'm pretty sure they sell them everywhere. 
and I just totally recommend it. It's like two dollars or something, and drop the lid. It makes my lips feel like so smooth, like nice and like buttery, like I don't know. It just makes them really smooth. Okay, on to the longer part of my video, which is lipsticks and pigmented lip glosses. <clears throat> okay. I keep all my lipsticks in here, and they're in somewhat of an order. I kind of fell out of order, but they're in an order. So I'm going to start with Revlon products. This first one is called Rose Blush. And it looks like that. It's such a gorgeous color. And I heard about the... This line is called um, Moisture Renew. I heard about these from Emily Noel. And I am so glad I did because I love this product. I wear these almost every day when I'm not trying out a product for you guys. So... Yeah, that's Revlon Moisture Renew in the color Rose Blush. And I love the packaging. There's like a little crown. And I put my stickers on top because they come on bottom, but I put them on top because I like to store my lipsticks up and down. And that way I just know the name. And it makes it easier to see for videos, so why not? This one I have is in Coral Shimmer, and it's the same line, Moisture Renew by Revlon, and it looks like this, and I love this color. And once again, it's labeled on top because I moved my labels to the top, and then there's the swatch. So pretty. So gorgeous, I love it. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay, next is this thing of Mojigger that I got in LA Colors. And I'm never gonna buy this again. I just really wanted some lipstick and some lip gloss. And <clears throat> this lipstick is horrible. It lasts for like a millisecond. But it is a beautiful color. It's just a horrible lipstick. So there's the lipstick. That nice gorgeous baby pink color and oh, so beautiful but the lasting part is this crap now I'll put the lip gloss over it and you'll see it the color is pretty much gone just horrible horrible product but I will try my best to use it up last thing for Revlon is the Revlon color burst lip butter and this was in my last video, but I'll go ahead and show it again. So that's the color. And this color is Sweet Tart. Super Lustrous Lipstick. And this color is in Fuchsia Fusion. And I can't actually wear this color because it's too pink for me. But, I mean, if I were to go out or something, I probably would. But, it's so super pink for me. I have such pale skin. But, anyways. Um, the next product line is e.l.f. And these are the dollar ones. The, uh, that's not the name on it. This one's called Flirtatious. More depth, but I do love these. I wear them as much as I can. This one I believe is called Charming. Or sorry, this one's called Seductive, my bad. Seductive. This one's called Charming. I love the formula of the e.l.f. lipsticks and they last a while. 
That's charming. Charming's probably the most wearable one I have. Then the last one I have is Voodoo, which is a great fall color. I've worn it a couple times, gotten lots of compliments on it, and it is a beautiful color. Those are my e.l.f. ones, and then I have an NYC one, which I actually don't mind NYC uh, lipsticks, but I do think there are better brands out there, but it's pretty cheap. It was like two dollars, maybe a dollar, actually, probably like a dollar, that like, really light pink. It does not last very long, though. The next one is Ulta's, and this one is Cappuccino, which... I need to wear because it looks like a great fall color and honestly I don't know if it'll let's try this it will look that good what do you guys think? yay or nay? <laughs> but anyways it looks like that very gorgeous color in my opinion and then the next one I have is Plum Crazy. I need to wear this one as well. It's a beautiful fall color. Looks like that. And there's Plum Crazy. So gorgeous. And then the last Ulta one I have is called Vegas Baby. It's a very red, red color. Like, <laughs> red is hard to pull off for me, so. But I think it did pretty good on this one, actually. All right, the next one is from Maybelline Color Sensational. This is in Coral Carnation, and this is my favorite lip color like an orange red I've gotten so many compliments on this lip color so it's my favorite then I have this essence one that I got from Ulta because <clears throat> it was pretty cheap and thought it would be a great fall color it looks like that it's essence and the color is Glamour Queen. I think it was only like two dollars. It's right there on my knuckles. Okay, and then I have three lip glosses from Ulta. They're kind of messy. Okay, so this first color is called Mischief. It's such a gorgeous color. This color is called Princess. This is the other princess color. The neutral color. So, that's the gist of my lip collection. I also have a Maybelline Baby Lips, but um, I've been testing it out and I think I think it's elsewhere because it's not here so I think I might have left it in my, my pants pocket or something but so yeah those are all my lip colors if you want a review on any of these then let me know um, ask me if you want a review like a full review and um, I will post that for you but I just wanted to kind of show you how I stored my lip stuff so that's kind of how I store my stuff and thought it'd be cool to see what I already had and if you guys have any suggestions of lip products I should try out then let me know and remember you can always comment um you can always email me you can definitely add me on Facebook all that stuff will be down there in the information bar that's like subscribe because I have a lot of exciting things coming up as I've said in my previous videos so and I will see you guys next video bye guys